Topographic surveying is a common method for creating terrain models. Data collectors, such as these, facilitate getting survey data from the field to a computer for use in software programs like Civil 3D. No matter what equipment you use, the data may be exported as an ASCII file having a .txt file extension. Data is sorted to fit one of the preferred importing methods found in Civil 3D. For example, this file starts with the survey point number, then northing, easting, elevation, and finally point description. In this video, we'll import raw survey data such as this into Civil 3D, create a point group, and explore text style settings. But before importing the survey data, Open the data file and verify the format. This is a P, N, E, Z, D, comma delimited file, which is one of C3D's import options. Another option is to create a point file in Excel. Be sure that the columns fit the desired importing format. This one is P, N, E, Z, D. Now select Save As under the File tab. Change the file type to a .csv file, which is a comma delimited file. Name the file and save. Click the Yes button to continue and close Excel. Open Civil 3D Imperial. Go to Save As and save this to your project folder. Notice the name change in the tool space. Now import points by selecting the Point Creation Tools from the ribbon or by clicking on Points in the toolspace. Select Create to display the Create Points toolbar. Click the arrow button to display the dialog box. Expand Points Creation. Drag down to find the Disabled Description Keys and change it to True. Now survey points can be imported by clicking the Import Points button. To select files, Click the plus button to bring up the Explorer and navigate to the point file created earlier. This example imports the .csv file created from Excel. To select the ASCII file, choose .txt here. Next, specify the point file format. This file is a P N E Z D comma delimited file. Verify that the data sorts correctly in the display below. Add these survey points to a point group named existing grade. Click the plus button to do this. Click OK. The points display in the tool space. Close the Create Points toolbar for now. Now, to see the points in model space, double click the roller on the mouse, or type zoom on the command line. Press Enter, then E for Extends, and press Enter again. 
This displays the limits of the survey data. The text on the survey points is a dynamic text currently scaled for 1 inch equals 60 feet. Click the arrow to display the list of common engineering scales. Change the scale to 1 inch equals 10 feet. The text dynamically adjusts to print correctly for this new scale. Zoom in to some of the points using the roller on the mouse. The default displays the point number, elevation, and description. Go to the tool space and right click points. Select Edit Points. This dialog box displays all the points in the data file. Point data may be edited in this dialog box. Click the green checkmark box to close. To find a point in the model, select it from the list and right click to select Zoom To. Let's look at the point groups. Click the plus sign to expand the tree. The list has the existing grade that was created earlier as well as all points, which is a civil 3D preset group. Select existing grade and right click to select properties. First is the information tab, which we'll revisit. Next is Point Groups. Move forward to the Include tab. This is where points may be removed or included by editing this list. This only applies to this point group. Points may also be excluded by listing it under the Exclude tab. Return to the Information tab and pull down the Points Label Style. Notice that there are many label options to choose from. Click on the button to see the labels appear. This is the default label setting. We get the idea. So close. Try selecting one from the list. Click Apply to see if labels change in the model. No change. This Civil 3D has a glitch, but there are options. Return to the label style and click Points Elevation Description and click Apply. Select Edit Current Selection and follow along. This is the Label Style Composer for point labels. Now with the current setting for this label style, Click Apply. Success! Go back and reset the label style to the original settings. This option may prove valuable on other projects.